Are you tired of setting resolutions and goals each year and never achieving them? Oh, I was too, until I finally managed to find a solution that actually worked. And you know what? You can do it too. Today, I'm sharing the three simple steps that helped me achieve all of my fitness goals. Apply these three steps to any goal and make it happen this year. Hello YouTube fam! Welcome back to my channel, my name is Monica May and I make videos on fitness and weight loss from my own personal experience and today we are going through the three simple steps that helped me achieve all of my fitness goals in one year. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click that like button, it really helps my channel a lot. Now, did you know that every year more than 50% of the people make New Year's resolutions to lose weight, work out, save money, be more productive, and yet around 80% of those resolutions get abandoned around February. That is really sad. All of those goals just vanish after just one month. And I've been there too. Year after year, setting goals, I just couldn't seem to achieve until I finally did it. I am now a vegan, I eat healthy, I exercise regularly, I have a YouTube channel, and I even have my own workout program that helps women around the world achieve their fitness and weight loss goals. However, it took me a lot of years and a lot of trial and error to finally get to those goals. And here are the three steps that actually helped me do it. Number one, focus on small wins. Instead of setting these grand goals, just focus on those small wins and smaller tiny goals you want to include in your daily life that will lead to that big goal over time. You see, I was always a go big or go home type of gal. So each year I would set a bunch of huge goals and just hope for the best. For example, I always wanted to start living a more sustainable life. So year after year, I was setting a goal to go plant-based and spoiler alert, I never did. And this was a goal I was really passionate about and I knew that I wanted to achieve one day. So from my trial and error, I knew that if I just kept writing down, go plant-based as a goal, I would never achieve it, mainly because there was not a plan attached to this huge goal of mine and I was too dependent on meat as a main source of protein at that time. So instead, I decided to set a few smaller goals that are focused around becoming plant-based eventually. Here's what I wrote. Swap whey protein for plant-based protein, reduce meat intake to three times a week, Learn how to get enough proteins from plants. Try one new plant-based recipe each week and try going plant-based for a full month. As I mentioned, at that time, I was eating some sort of animal food almost every single day. So I knew that even reducing my meat intake would be a huge for me. Plus, I was a bit confused on the topic of getting enough proteins on a plant-based diet since I was working out and lifting heavy a lot. However, by taking baby steps, making small changes and going at a pace I was comfortable with, I managed to eventually get my goal and go plant-based for a full month. By that time, I've already tried a bunch of delicious and healthy plant-based recipes I reduced my meat intake and I already learned how to eat proteins as a vegan. I just ended up loving that one month. So that one month turned into two months and then into a year. And I'm so proud to say that I am a vegan ever since. This can apply to anything. Let's say your goal is to eat healthier this next year. A beginner's mistake would be to just immediately go on a diet and just hope for the best. What you should do instead is set these tinier goals such as 
trying out new healthy recipes each week or swapping up desserts for fruits. Maybe eventually you'll commit to having a healthy breakfast each day by dividing your grand goal into smaller wins each day you will manage to add up to greater results. Number two, search for problems before setting a goal. Instead of just setting a goal or a resolution, you should find the problems that might be preventing you from reaching that goal first. For example, my goal was to get fit. So one of my smaller wins was to be more consistent with working out. So I sat down and asked myself, why haven't I worked out as much this past year? Is it because I haven't had a time or there was always something that came up last minute or I wasn't truly really motivated enough or it took too much of my time? And once I found the real problems, I could now set a real solution. For example, for not having the time to go to the gym, my solution was I'll subscribe to an at-home workout program and I'll work out in the comfort of my own home. This will not only save me so much time on the trips to the gym, but it would also save me money that I can then use to invest in a home workout equipment. You see, just by committing to going to the gym each day and ignoring your problems, you'll set yourself up for a failure. What you should do is find something that works for you and fits your busy schedule and set that as a goal. By finding even the hypothetical problems and thinking of a solution, you are setting a goal for success. Apply this to any goal you have and you'll be able to achieve your goals every single time. And number three, instead of blaming yourself, learn from the setbacks. The truth is, life happens and things almost never go as we planned them. And we all have setbacks, especially when it comes to long-term goals. That's why, instead of blaming yourself after a setback, it is crucial to take a second and learn from it. Let's say your goal is to work out five times a week. At first you start off, you're in the groove, you feel super motivated, you're working out all the time. Then one day you decide to take a break. And before you know it, the week has passed and you haven't had a single workout yet. It's been a busy week and you just can't find the time to do it. That week will turn into two weeks, eventually into a month. You get the drill. Before you know it, your goal is out of your sight. Sounds familiar? It sure does. It happens to all of us. And our reaction to that is usually blame. But blaming doesn't help. What actually does help is recognizing the setback. Say it out loud. Yes, I had a setback. I deserve that break, now what? Once you get out of that blaming mindset, now you can take a second to learn from it. Ask yourself, why I haven't been able to keep up with working out this past month? What can I actually do to make that time and make that workout happen? Or what can I do to boost my motivation? Maybe I'll switch up the workout program for something exciting and new, or switch up the time of the day I work out. Just by sitting down and analyzing that setback, you will get so much info that can be actually helpful. This way you'll be able to find a solution and get out of that loop. Blame won't do anything. Learning from the experience will. Lastly, you will not always be motivated to work towards the goals you've set. And that's totally fine. No one is motivated all the time. You'll have ups, you'll have downs. What matters in the end is the progress and the overall experience from that journey. And by getting to the end of this video, you are already on the right track. I am so proud of you. <laughs> I really hope these three steps will help you achieve all of your goals this year. What are your biggest goals? Let us know, we would love to know. Right, Mars? Write them down in the comment section below. Let's analyze them together. Also, don't forget to download your resolution printables from my blog, link is down below. And as always, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click that like button. And I'll see you girls next time. Bye.